proved he is on our side. We are the sons, we are the daughters of God. No matter where we go, we're close to the Father's heart. And though we stumble, He will not let us fall. We are the Lord's and He will never forsake His own. We are the sons, we are the daughters of God. His love He lavished on us and called us children of Abraham's son, Isaac, grew up and married Rebekah. When Rebekah was pregnant, God told her that she would have two boys. God said, they will grow up and have families who will be the two separate nations. One nation will be stronger than the other, and the older child will serve the younger. Rebekah gave birth to twins. Esau was born first and then Jacob. When they grew up and their father Isaac was old, Isaac wanted to bless Esau. Instead, Jacob tricked Esau and stole his brother's blessing. Esau was very angry, so Isaac and Rebekah sent Jacob away. One night, God spoke to Jacob, I am the God of your grandfather Abraham and the God of your father Isaac. I will give you and your offspring this land. God made the same covenant with Jacob as he had made with Abraham. God said, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. Jacob promised to follow God and honor him. Years passed. Jacob got married and had a family. Finally, Jacob took his family and all his possessions and headed home to Canaan. Jacob was afraid that Esau would still be angry with him for stealing his blessing. 
he sent a large gift of animals to try to make Esau happy. That night, a man appeared to Jacob. The man wrestled with Jacob all night. Jacob refused to give up. So the man injured Jacob's hip. I will not let you go unless you bless me, Jacob said. Your name will no longer be Jacob, said the man. Your name will be Israel, because you wrestled with God and men, and you have won. The man blessed Jacob. Now Jacob went to meet Esau. Esau ran to Jacob and hugged him. He was not angry anymore. Esau returned to his home. Jacob and his family traveled on, and Jacob bought land for them to live on. Jacob was finally home in the land God had promised him. God changed Jacob's life and gave him a new name, Israel. Jesus came that we might have a changed life, forgiven of sin. Jesus' death and resurrection provided sinful people the way to be adopted into God's family. When we trust in Jesus, we also receive a new name, children of God. <laughs>